Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're back in the garage here. We already got the M2 here all jacked up, ready to go. We're actually gonna be taking the front bumper off the car today because we're gonna be installing these front mount intakes from RK Tunes. I installed the Project Gamma front mount intakes on my G80 personally. It maybe was a little bit more time consuming of an install just because you have to take the bumper off and kind of squeeze everything in there. But that's what we're gonna be doing today. This is one mod that I'm super excited about because it just changes like the enjoyment of driving the car because you get all the cool turbo noises. So that is what we're going to be doing in today's video. Stay tuned for that. Let's jump right into it. All right, so we got the inner fender liner out and there's gonna be some clips up in here and then those two bolts, sorry, that one, this one, and then obviously the array of bolts underneath the, the front of the bumper as well. And then up top, we'll have to take all this shrouding off and uh, take those bolts off as well. All right, making some progress here. Got the front bumper all off and that's actually a lot easier to get off than it was on the G80 M3. So good, good stuff there. Uh, now we're gonna get started on getting these strut braces off. So that way we can start pulling out the factory air boxes and the tubing and stuff. But essentially what we're gonna end up having to do is taking a hot knife and cutting this here to be able to fit the tubing through. And then obviously the filters get mounted here. So yeah, on to the next thing. Now, so we have everything apart. We have all the factory intakes out of the car. Now we need to go ahead and cut into this little plastic trim piece right here. And it's kind of funny, right? They have like these big openings, especially in the G80, they have this big opening in the front, but they have this shroud blocking any air going to the actual intakes themselves. So what we have to do is we have to come in here with a hot knife and be able to trim away some of this uh, foam slash plastic stuff right here. We're gonna do that now, try to make it as clean as possible, and then we'll do the other side and then we'll start test fitting the new intake. go looks pretty good pretty clean you go ahead and see if that fits in there so we have to fit this big tube in there yeah. cool so that fits right in there We'll go ahead and get the other side knocked out now. All right guys, so it's coming along. We have one side installed and buttoned in. Everything is tight, secure a couple cuts <laughs> um, pro tip if you want if you're gonna do this yourself get yourself some Dawn dish soap and just put it on the shorter side this side because when you're trying to push it through there actually it goes like this when you're trying to push it through there it is so tight in here and just having that little bit of soap on there allows you to kind of be able 
to put it in, uh, put it in like this and then rotate as you're going through. Uh, but we're making progress. So we have everything all installed, both filters. This side was definitely a lot more challenging to, to get in there. Uh, it's all lined up perfectly. Over here on the turbo side, everything's good to go there. Everything's tight. We're gonna go ahead and start it. Make sure there's no leaks or anything. Everything's buttoned up and we'll go ahead and get started reassembling the car. So we are all done with the front mounted intakes. It's kind of dark in here. Let me see, turn the light on. But yeah, they look crazy. It's super loud and funny enough, I tried to get a couple of good revs right off the first start, but my phone connected to Apple CarPlay in the car, stopped the video. I use my phone pretty much to record all my YouTube content. So um, I'm gonna do my best to get some good sound clips from inside the car, but let's go for a quick drive. That's so loud. So that is going to wrap up our video for today. Let me know down below in the comment section what you think about the new RK Tunes front mounted intakes. For me, I think they sound amazing. It makes the, the car just a ton of fun to drive. It can prepare us or set us up good for what we have in store for the future for the car as well. Uh, also, something to note that the just like my initial driving it, the throttle response is a little bit better, getting more airflow into the motor. So definitely, definitely, definitely excited to see what the next mods are going to do to the car and how it responds. But tomorrow we're going to go ahead and install the KW Has Kit lowering kit on the car as well. So super excited to see how that all works out. But definitely stay tuned for what we have planned for this beautiful G87 M2. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and we'll catch you on the next one.